You have meddled with the primal forces of nature, Mr. Beale, and I won't have it! Is that clear? Oh, okay. I'm incredibly, deeply, enormously depressed in the aftermath of Charlie Kirk's assassination. I don't know where we go from here. I don't know how to engage with others on the internet in a way that is productive. Why do they always come with fucking violence? God damn it! Use your freaking words as they're talking to you people! No matter what you throw into the wishing well of the internet, what it spits back out is more chaos, more confusion, more division. It feels impossible. It feels like this Sisyphean battle. As individuals, we no longer have agency online. There's this mirage, there's this illusion that you are choosing what you want to consume. But ultimately, the algorithm is choosing for you. This is going to sound a little bit crazy, but I think the, the free speech debate is a complete distraction right now. I think the real debate should be about, about free will. After the shooting, Sam Harris put out a written statement and he said, if the medium is the message, then the message is mass psychosis. And it really feels like that is what we are experiencing. It feels like we're experiencing mass psychosis. All of us have a brain and the brain is a biological computer. We have a brain, the brain is a biological computer. So why can't a digital computer, a digital brain, do the same things? I really think Arrival is the most important movie of the last few decades. Well, the cornerstone of civilization isn't language, it's science. What really decides the fate of humanity is their willingness to, or really their ability to connect with each other on a deep enough, a human enough level that they know there can be trust. You told me my wife's dying words. <laughs> I don't know how we can communicate to each other that we want the same things. But we do want some of the same things. I, I desperately believe that we must want enough of the same things to form a cohesive social fabric again. And maybe that's it, that somebody so far away can, can shut you down without ever having even like looked at you in the eyes or in person or shaking your hand or anything. only one holistic system of systems. One vast and main, interwoven, interacting, multivariate, multinational dominion of dollars. Social media has become anything but social as it's developed. It is algorithmic media. The incentive of the algorithm is not aligned with the incentive of humanity. And we, we feel it right now because we are being programmed. It's actually changing and impacting the, the agency we have. And I think the only answer to this is not to work harder at open source, but to give people choice. Give people choice of what algorithm they want to use. You know, I, I really don't think we need to be pointing the finger of blame at each other. I think what we have to be pointing the finger at is the most powerful people in the world who are in charge of these algorithms. And we need to demand more transparency this seems to be the most corrosive element in our society. In the aftermath of the Manhattan Project, Oppenheimer went through a period where he became a fierce advocate for transparency and international coordination around nuclear weapons. I have been asked whether there is hope for the nation's security in keeping secret some of the knowledge in, which has gone into the making of the bombs. I am afraid there is no such hope. 
I think the only hope for our future safety must lie in a collaboration based on confidence and good faith with the other peoples of the world. The paradox of the nuclear bomb was that it created the mechanism that could destroy us all, but it was on this platform of mutually assured destruction that we formed the most peaceful and prosperous era humanity has ever seen. There was an interview with Sam Altman. He talked about the Constitutional Convention and how he envisioned a moment where the world's greatest thinkers would come together and try and tackle the alignment problem. My dream scenario, we would have something like the U.S. Constitutional Convention, where we, you know, look at things from different perspectives and say, well, this will be, this would be good in a vacuum, but it needs a check here. And it was a democratic process. None of us got exactly what we wanted, but we got something that we feel good enough about. We need something of that scale, of the scale of the founding fathers creating this country. We need these founding figures in our world right now with wildly disproportionate power and influence over all of us. We need to see them come together and transparently and honestly talk about what we are creating for the future of humanity as we program these algorithms and as these algorithms program us. These are such extreme things. These are such unimaginable things. So right now I'm trying to pull you into that a little bit, into this headspace of this really extreme and radical future that the AI creates. I have seen the face of God. You just might be right, Mr. Beale.